Moses Salyu, originally from Cameroon, now living and work in Toronto. Excellent. So I got the pleasure today to be with this amazing artist. We're in his studio, and wow, we're gonna we're gonna talk about some of the pieces that you that you have. Um, but again, another amazing artist hailing from the amazing continent. Uh, of Africa and Cameroon. So, uh, how long have you been in Toronto? Uh, it's been seven years now. Seven years. Yeah, okay. seven years. So seven years, and like, how do you feel, or what do you think about the arts community in Toronto? Is it thriving? Are you? Would it? Do you feel like there's a community, especially with the Black visual artists? How, talk to me about that. Yeah, it's thriving for sure, but there is a lot of work to do okay. because, yeah, we do have like, uh, you know, a lot of work to do to build something like that in long term. Yeah. That was just like, it's supposed to be our vision as an artist, our like art lover, and everyone has to be included in this project. So I think it's a huge project we have to come together yeah, yeah to make it happen. One of the things again, that is amazing with you is that you're, I believe you're self-taught, right? Like, yeah, I'm self-taught. Wow, so mm. how did it take us back many years, many moons ago, <laughs> um, as a child, did you know, like how, what was your start even into art? I think it's come naturally, you know. It's just like your gift, it just come naturally. Okay. Start first in primary school with drawing, doing stuff like everything I was touching, like small sculpture, drawing. It was just like people were really enjoying it and liking it. So it's like that how, you know, that how I find myself just being an artist, that's who I am today. It's like those small things. Yeah, there was always my entourage in my surrounding that people like always appreciating what I was doing. Okay. That, that push me and make me like give me more confidence to pursue you know what i you know yeah art this entourage were they also artists as well or talented in no, really, I didn't really. I was like, especially in my family, I'm the only one, for oh, sure. Okay. In my neighborhood, I was the only one. Really? So that is the thing. It's just like a gift. I see something and like, you know, a picture. I try to, you know, reproduce it. It was like always like, you know, 60, 70 percent close. And people, wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. You could, you could, that, you know, keep enjoying it. And like, you know, that's it. So you're basically a full-time artist, like this is what you do. Yeah, that's what I do. So was this something, I mean, you're saying you're the only one in your family, really in your neighborhood or area. Was this something when you decided, man, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pursue this. Was your family like, no, you have to be a lawyer, doctor. Oh yeah, for, of course. <laughs> like, especially where I'm from, it's like from small town. It wasn't not easy. For my parents, they're really enjoying everything I do, but at the same time, they were like, oh, no, you have to. But I wasn't not feeling like, those some stuff was like, oh, that's not for me. I'm just an Aries. That's how I feel. Yes. Because that way I always tell people, it's like being an Aries is not just about, about choice, but you feel it inside you. Yeah. It's like part of you. Without it, it's like you don't have breath. You're not breathing. So that is like something I couldn't like, you know. Yeah, you couldn't live without it. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't live without it. I just follow my dream and I'm still enjoying every single day I'm in the studio, every single minute I'm creating like yeah. every single second I'm just around the hour so that's just like you know it's my life now yeah and, and friends he produces a lot of work because I was actually on your Instagram well, I'm always on your Instagram dude. but like I noticed a lot of what you have up there is like you didn't have that a year ago no. like it's almost a complete new direction with some, with some of the stuff mm. uh, so that that's amazing so why, why Toronto? Why Canada? Is there? So I moved first, it's not like, it's a, like a family reunion. Okay. That's why I moved in Canada. And there was like, okay, then you move somewhere. You have to like, you know, look around you, take one step back, see how they are seen. It's like as an artist, that's what I did. Like the first two, three years, it was just observing around me, like, you know, so saying what's, you know, how the art scene is and uh, all this thing. And them started getting in the art scene, our community, meeting artists, like connecting and then like okay I'm a black artist okay 
what I could do. I want to meet some, you know, black Aries too. Like, you know, doesn't matter where they're from. So like they could be Caribbean, they could be African, they could be from state, doesn't matter. It could be black Canadian. So that's how I started like, you know, meeting like, okay. but yeah, exactly. Okay. So, so you just came here first and then observed and said, okay, I, I belong. Yeah. I belong. Exactly. That's, that's great. Yeah. Uh, and, and maybe this is a testament because Toronto has a lot of variety. Um, mm -hmm. Similar to like in New York, we're probably a smaller version of New York as far as like the type of people that are here. But that leads me to my next question. Your work, like the work, we're going to talk about it, some of the pieces here, has so much variety. Like you have amazing Canadian landscape um, for, uh, images. For, uh, you also have the George Floyd piece. And then you have like iconic images of Basquiat, your versions of Basquiat. So is that, if it, describe that, like, I guess some artists, they stay in one lane, mm -hmm. but you, you explore so much. Yeah. So that was a big question. Uh, yeah, I know. Answer the question is just no. It's like it's a it's a perfect question to ask. I think okay. because I'm a, first I'm a versatile versatile artist, so I don't stick in one style. Yeah. I love exploring. That's how I see life too. Okay. Life is not like we are doing the same thing every day. You're right. You're Today right. you start doing this. Tomorrow it could be something else, and we never know. It's like exploring. Yeah. I'm just like kind of explorer. So every day as I come to my studio, if I have an idea, I'm gonna try. To throw, to throw it in a canvas. Doesn't matter the idea, doesn't matter the subjects. Yeah. And I work in series of work too. Since last year, mm -hmm. I started working on series of works. Okay. Like especially this piece, those abstract like portrait. Yes. Those are like series of probably like, I think it's around 10, 15 pieces. They're more abstract. There are no faces, but they're just about texture. So that's just like, you know, it's just the shape and texture. Yeah. So the viewer can like you know explore himself and imagine what's it behind so that's what i'm offering especially with this piece and then i move like from the piece beside it's just an abstract landscape it's done an oil paint and is there's texture when you come closer you can feel it's just an abstract landscape it's just about emotion feeling and stuff like that i love exploring whatever came in my mind i don't like you know stick in one subject so that's that's the thing and because i've seen uh, again like as you say whatever you see you, you put on the canvas because you have some amazing um night like toronto life with some with the ttc um street cars so that that's amazing um, plus you also this is a very cool spot you're you're here with other artists as well so i would imagine ideas bounce and that kind of thing too so yeah it's my first time working like you know sharing a studio space with you know with like two three hours and the amazing thing is like it's it's the energy what like especially we are all here together yeah there is like some like you know it's like some symphony yes it's just easy everyone working in his corner i'm working and then we stop like five minutes talking chatting about like work about art about everything mm -hmm. and it boosts you it gives you like some boost that like wow that's amazing it's just all about the energy yeah. so really enjoying it especially being here having like your space creating it's like this kind of thing it's just amazing I, 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 just uh, the like-mindedness and people trying to accomplish things together in the same room can only produce amazing work like this um, you kind of touched on it with, with this piece and we'll go we'll talk about each of these a few of these pieces uh, here but one of the things that I really like about your work is the abstract aspect to it. So even with the piece behind you here, I know it's a human figure, but the face doesn't necessarily look like my face, but I see myself in, in this. Um, you have a lot of uh, uh, pieces like this, like you mentioned, you're working on a series. Uh, so things like the sisterhood piece, uh, the complexity. These are some that's on your Instagram that I yeah. write them down because I wasn't <laughs> remember the name. Uh, 
the incredititude. I like that one mm-hmm. a lot. So what inspires you to create pieces like that? You kind of touched on it, but yeah, because there's a sometimes there's the burden of the black artist to only make like black figures. But yours, you you can like again, you're all over the place, and everything suits you. Thank you. Something is like like I said before. It's like exploring. Doesn't want to. I don't. You know. It's 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 all about life. Doesn't matter which subject you you picked. You want to just spend maybe. Oh, okay. I'm just focusing maybe in cityscapes because I live in the city and I want to just like you know. It's 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 the way you want to express just your feeling. And like certain subject like you say like those abstract portrait and some work and man I Instagram you saw like the sisterhood and stuff like that. It just about about what you know I grew up like having like sisters like having a big family so those small things I used to like you know as a you know as a kid you see it how like you know sisters behave how like all this connection family connection that is something I'm starting like focusing lately working in a series of family okay. family in different perspective family like it could be small it could be large that's something I'm thinking and I'm sort of started working already in sort in you know in a series of like 10 or 15 pieces that is probably a one year project mm-hmm. that I'm working on actually but then I have my abstract abstract pieces because that sometimes I need abstract just abstract work you know to look at and to offer because life is sometimes more abstract than what we think what we think gonna happen tomorrow it should be something different that li- that's how I view life in general that why it doesn't matter how I do I started like with a nice portrait then I switch with abstract mm-hmm. because in the end I believe abstract is a true like you know it's a it's a true meaning of life everything is uncertain everything is like you know so it's like it's not like gambling but it's like when you you know you wake up you don't know you can project for sure but at the same time what happened and we don't know exactly, exactly. we don't know so like for me that is the definition of life is just abstraction abstraction like explain better life like that anything else so yeah. that's what I say and, and then it leaves it almost gives you you create it and you're given here you interpret it I had what I thought about it now you can interpret it because I can look at this and think something and you were probably like nah that's not where I was going but thank you <laughs> that's interesting what you're saying because there's this happened a lot you know oh, yeah? sometimes I finish a piece I started, there was a subject in my mind, I started just like, it end up like abstract work and I started seeing something else and there was like viewer come like a friend or like someone like, starting seeing something. But it is my work, but I'm discovering my own work. Yes. Is that's, that is the power of abstraction. Yes, right. It's not something, just one image you're saying like, okay, you get it. You're never gonna get abstract. It's like, always like, you know, it's like mystery. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just a mystery. That's what I love with abstract, with abstract work. And, and pieces like this, they, they live longer, I would say, in, in the sense that today I look at it and depending on what happened to me today this might now take on a new meaning you know what I mean um, and I definitely find that in a lot of your work um, so, so that's that's inspiring I, I like the fact that you dabble not dabble you're really deep into the abstract so, um, thank you so,